up on it, Brenda. We want to beat your police friend, Lieutenant Farrell, and that dumb stooge of his to the fire. What's your rush, Chuck? Well, we always make a little better on who's going to get there first. <laughs> Do you ever pay off? No, but we will someday. <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing, this fire starting in the same neighborhood where we got the tip we might find Joe Hiller. Yeah, maybe the fire will smoke him up. We'll find that million-dollar payroll he stole. Quarter of a million dollars, Timothy. Well, still a lot of money. Hey, take it easy. The fire will wait. Well, it isn't that. I gotta beat that newspaper picture shooter there so I can win a bet. Do you ever collect? Well, we keep a record. I'll bet it'll be a payoff. Duty, Brenda. I thought you were detailed to find Joe Hill with a payroll bandit. Who knows? Perhaps his money got hot and started this place. Well, Chuck, we beat you by a half. Is that what I smell burning? Search me, I was following you. Now we're both lost. Chuck, look. That was Joe Hiller. Couldn't be. Why is it the whole zero speed is always the one that busts? Because you don't pay your debts, that's why. You finally got smoked out, huh, Joe? Where's that payroll note? I ain't got it, Kruger. I lost the getaway. Honest, I did. Don't give me that. You made a clean getaway with a satchel after we pulled the job. Instead of coming to France, you hit out here. Well, I was gonna bring it in, but I was scared. Oh, I... Yo, you're scared, and you're still scared. Come on, talk fast. The fire's getting closer. Where's that dough? It's in there. We'll get it. Did you 
see anybody else around here? Nope. Oh. Brenda! Why, Miss Starr, fancy meeting you here. Come over here and sit down. Of course you didn't know Joe Heller was here. Well, you wouldn't think of holding out in the police department, would you? I didn't know he was here, not until I saw him at the window. Yeah. Where's Tim? I don't know. Where'd you leave him? Oh, Tim! Tim! What is it, Joe? Oh. Money. Where's Joe? Find the quarter million dollars sold in the payroll holdup? No, Mr. Walters. There was no trace of it. Maybe it burned in the fire. Write your story. Chuck got a swell picture of Joe Heller. Oh, he did? Brenda. Oh, hello, boss. I got some good pictures of the fire. Where's the one of Joe? Now, now here's one of two firemen walking off the top of the ladder. Here they're carrying a man out of the building over. Where's the one of Joe Heller? Well, I, I, I haven't found it yet. I, I don't believe you ever took one. Oh, yes, he did, Mr. Walters. Maybe someone doesn't want us to have it. You stick to facts and write them. Yes, sir. Thanks, Brenda. But I saw you take it, Chuck. Oh, Pesky. Run down to the corner and get me some cigarettes, will you? Sure, thanks. Anything but alfalfas. Anything but alfalfas. Right. Anything but alfalfas. That's the brand you smoke. Aren't you forgetting that Pesky gets everything backwards? That's the kind he'll bring back. I still think the last part of that means 11.41 a.m. If it does, we're stuck. Then you ought to give it over to the police. I will. When I've had a try at it. I still think Larry Farrell had a tip that Joe Heller was there today. He just held out on me again. What do you suppose became of all that money? $250,000. I'll be right with you, Mr. Mullen. Here you are, Mrs. Higgins. I think this will more than take care of it. Oh, thank you, Mr. Smith. I've heard of your wonderful generosity, and this exceeds my fondest hopes. <laughs> well, it's for a good cause. I like to help people because people help me by coming to my establishment. I make a good living, and I'm always glad to share it with others less fortunate. Well, thank you, Mr. Smith, and I shall spread the word of your wonderful generosity. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Is that the payroll money? It's what Kruger gave me. According to the police radio. It sure was. Joe was hiding out in a bomb-proof shelter. But the fire started lucky for us and smoked him out. Mama, did you open this? It was locked. I couldn't. I wouldn't have anyway. Say, you don't think... Hey, but if I didn't trust you, you wouldn't be working for me. Kruger! What's wrong? Honey, this is full of blank paper. Blank paper? 
So Joe cheated right up to the end, didn't he? It's a good thing I stuck around, though, because that newspaper lens hound took a flash at Joe as they've taken him out. I don't see the harm in that. I don't like the idea of dead people being photographed. So you don't suppose he hit the money in the room? Well, he could have, but it's too bad if he did, because that building was on fire when I left. Say, that newspaper girl, Brenda Starr, was in there. That's right. She almost saw me give it to Joe. I've got a feeling that girl's gonna bring us a lot of bad luck. Here you go, Chuck. Oh, thanks, Petke. <laughs> See? Just like I didn't order. Al Falvis. Say, that's a good system. I'll remember that. <laughs> hello, Brenda Starr speaking. Oh, hello, Lieutenant Farrell. I was just thinking about you. Of course, it wasn't anything good. And uh, why am I honored by this call? It's usually I who call you, or at least try to. I've decided to give you a break. Joe Heller is unconscious, but he's still alive. We're hiding him out while the doctors work on him. They promised to bring him around sometime tonight, and then we'll learn who was behind that quarter of a million dollar payroll robbery. No, oh, no, I can't let you see him. But I promise to give you a first chance at the story when he talks. You're an old meanie. That's not news. Thanks, anyway. I'll write a separate story on it. Goodbye. She'll be plenty sore when she finds out Joe Heller died an hour ago. <laughs> Won't be the first time she's been sore at us. Nor the last. <laughs> now, you get busy and spread the news around that we've got Heller at the old McClellan place on Harbor Boulevard. When the news leaks through and the gang go there to get him, we'll grab them. What's up? Read that, Cougar. That's a lot of malarkey. Why, Kruger? I know where I hit Joe Heller. And I know what happens to guys that get hit there. All the croakers in the world couldn't save him. But if that's the truth, then I... he'll spill everything he knows about us. But it's not the truth, I tell you. He's dead. How about that, Frank? Well, we leave it up to the big boss. He'll tell us later what to do. He always does, by radio. You're just wasting time. Maybe so. It isn't that I haven't any confidence in you, Kruger, but we've come this far by playing safe. That's the way the boss wants us to do. Now, you boys get busy and see if you can find a tip where they're hiding Joe. Just in case. But you said we'd only wait an hour. All right, if Lieutenant Farrell isn't coming out, I'm going in after him. I've been waiting outside for an hour, and I know he hasn't gone out. Where were you watching? Out front, naturally. Oh, and you were going to follow him and find out where we're hiding Joe Heller. Oh, the lieutenant wouldn't like that. Where is he? Oh, there are other exits besides the one you were watching. Someday I'm going to... Ah, 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 ah. I warn you, what you're thinking may be against the law. I can think, can't I? Sure. out on us, huh? That's right. It's up to us now, Chuck. Tonight we'll have to find Joe Heller's hideout for ourselves. Let's go.
you two. Oh, it's you. What's the idea, Charlie? Aren't we your friend? I didn't recognize you. You ought to. We helped you out of a couple of jams, remember? I don't forget. We were looking for you. Why? We want you to help us. How? We want to know where the cops are hiding Joe Heller. <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Could you find out? Maybe. Will you phone me at the office when you do? Maybe. Thanks, Charlie. Lincoln Club, Frank Smith speaking. Yes, Charlie. That newspaper girl, Brenda Starr, wants me to tell her where Joe Heller is. What about it? How can you tell her if you don't know yourself? <laughs> but I do know. Got tipped off ten minutes ago. I was on my way to the phone when I ran into her. Oh, that's different. I'll have Schultz meet you in the usual place. You give him all the dope. Oh, and Charlie. If you see any of the boys, tell them to come on in. The big boss is talking at 10 o'clock. Okay. doesn't want us to know who he is, so he talks to us by radio. Frank knows who he is. He sends his reports into him. Hey, Frank? No, there's another angle. If you don't know who he is, none of you will get the idea of knocking me off, taking over. That's not so dumb at that. Pipe down. Here's the boss. OK, boss. Frank speaking. Good evening. I trust you're all well tonight. If so, to business. First, we must find the payroll money. We need that quarter million in our business. Next, I have enough confidence in Kruger to believe him when he says Joe Heller is dead. The tip-off as to where they're hiding him looks too planted, too much like a trap. I suggest to you, Frank, that you pass the tip on to the newspaper girl, Brenda Starr. She is smart and might easily be dangerous to us. Use your own judgment as to how to handle her. You boys are all doing a good job. You'll all be taken care of. Good night. He knows what time it is, all right. Sure he does. And he's right about that star girl, too. She's dynamite. She's in with the cops. And there are too many honest policemen in this town to suit me. Schultz, go out and pick up Charlie again. Tell him to phone Brenda Starr in an hour and have him tip her off where they're holding Joe. You two pick up Jake and go out to the McClellan place. Now, here's what I got in mind. First. Hello? Yes, this is Brenda Starr speaking. The old McClellan house on Harbor Boulevard? Thanks, Charlie. I won't forget this. Chuck? That was Charlie on the phone. We're going to interview Joe Heller. Get your camera. I'll be right with you. What are we waiting for? still a long ways to the house. I know it is, but it's as close as I dare drive. Be quiet and follow me. Let anybody go into the house who wants to. When I give the word, we'll close in and see what we've caught. 
Now take your posts. Report back here if necessary, but don't stop anyone. Come on, boys. Everything all set? Yeah. Newspaper snoopers won't know what hit them. We better get out of here. Why? The cops. They're watching the house the same as we are. Just to say that Lieutenant Farrell is plenty smart. Forget it, will you? Brenda, they got me. They got me. They didn't get much. Two unidentified people have just sneaked up to the house. We'll wait for 15 minutes, then close in. Right. There's nobody here but us news hounds. What are you doing, imitating a bloodhound? What's that funny stuff I smell? I smell it too. It's gas. Yes? Let's look in that other room. dark in here. You can say that again. It's sure dark in here. Oh! Brenda! 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 Brenda, what happened? Brenda, where are you? What has happened to Brenda? Why was she unable to reply when Chuck called to her? And what will be the result of Chuck's carelessness, which caused the terrific blast? Don't miss The Blazing Trap, the second thrilling chapter of Brenda Starr, reporter, at this theater next week.